Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Basement Season Number 2. I am excited. But more importantly, the game's gone through a ton of updates, and you all know how I roll. Every time there's a big update to a game I've played before, especially early access titles, we always come back, take a look at them. Basement has gone through tons of updates. The most important one, though, rival gangs. You are no longer in control of the city. You no longer get to chill and just make your moves whenever you want to. Now you have rival gangs pushing for other property and your property as well. Let's look at these people around here. This right here is going to be the rival gang that is going to be causing us most of our problems. These dudes over here, these red dudes, will not only make pushes for other property to take over, and then they will also take over it and sell their own drugs, get more money that way. They will also come after your basement as well. So this is the one that you really, really have to worry about. As I mentioned, the game is still needing some balancing when it comes to the difficulty here because these guys can overrun you easily. So the game, we could either have a good run right now or we could have a disastrous run. It depends on how we manage it. I hope it goes well, but you know, I'm, I'm still not too sure about that. More importantly, prison. This right here is going to be really important for us because, as you notice, there's only one guard here, which isn't really too difficult. 7.2 damage and 28 HP. Really easy to bring down. But the best thing about this is if you take over this area, you get all of these four prisoners recruited automatically. And what's cool about them is that they only cost $10 a day. So they're really, really cheap to intake. And I normally tend end up using them as like extra meat shields. But yeah, we definitely want to keep our eyes on the prison. Make sure that these guys here do not take over the prison. If they do, we are going to be in a really, really bad spot. So right now, I, I think I'm going to start off with something easy like the old growing box of the old marijuana here, as, they, as you crazy kids like to call it. So we'll place this over here. We also need to start making some more room down below it. We might as well start using some of our money doing that because I'm going to need some batteries and some lockers here pretty soon. I don't have to hollow everything out just yet because I do need some money. But let's see, here's going to be our couch. So let me haul this out. I normally have an idea what I'd like to go with here. So this here would be like battery. We'll do a locker here for now. We'll put a battery room here. And yeah, that'll probably work out. So we'll let this be hollowed out here first. We have this here. Uh, I should start selling as soon as possible so that we get... Mm, yeah, so that we get some money coming in. All right, let's let this hollow out here first. Let's get this underway. Let me pause momentarily here. So over here we'll do battery obviously we need that and then over here we will do the lockers okay so now we can hire some people we have room for two individuals here might as well upgrade uh, yeah I'll just go ahead and upgrade you now so get this upgrade happening and we'll get at least a third person so we'll do ooh, no chemist huh well again unless they uh, unless we work under productivity, they're going to have um, pretty average productivity. I mean, the chemists will start with at least a 1 or a 0.9. These guys are 0.6s over here. I do need a seller. So, let's see. Among these guys as a seller, I'm going to honestly go with... Sean is better than Brett, I'm going to say. So, I'm going to pick up Sean over here. And you know what? Can I get lucky here? And give me a... Oh, no chemist. Damn it. Give me a chemist. Give me a chemist. You're making me spend money that I don't have. There you go, Victor. You'll do. Okay, so we'll go with this rule right here. Get this underway. Here goes my buddies. There you guys go. Alrighty, no, 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 no. You, Sean, get out of here. Come down here. You work on that. That's how we want this working out. Now, as soon as we get a few drugs here made, I'm going to start um, putting up a selling spot over here for Sean to hang out at. Let's also go ahead and upgrade this to... Eh, we'll go ahead and get an extra slot of individuals here. And we need our resting couch down here as well gonna be kind of important I want to have like at least we're gonna start off with the weed one and I want to get like something really strong to get more money here I'm thinking we might even do the atom stand the only problem with the atom stand is it explodes so it does hurt you quite a bit when it explodes I would have to clear my people up so maybe we'll set up a hospital bit down here so we can recover HP that's gonna be one way to counteract the um, atom stand over here alrighty so I think we have a little bit of product here let's come over here and build room now for building room Remember, we have a capability of the six junkies in this area. So if we use, for instance, over here, we could do four customers with this one. This one would be seven, so it's even way above what we're looking for here. I'm thinking what we do is we go with this one here. Although, although, if I have two sellers, we could just um, maybe do one and two, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, you know what? Let's just go with this one right here to start off with. And then we'll send our boy Sean up here. There you go, shiny boy. It's all you. There you go. Productive member of society. Just selling drugs to the uh, junkies over here. Well, I mean, the, the city's gone to hell. At this point, they got nothing else to do other than just drugs, so there you go. Alrighty, so right now we can only handle three individuals. We could do up to six, though. So here's what we have in chance that we could do this. We could upgrade to get, um, you know, more junkies and customers here. Do the stamina one as well. Or we could just set up a second... A second vending stand, and that's probably what I will be going with this one here. So, before we do that, actually, we should do it now. Do I have a chance to hire another dude, another seller? We do. We have Eddie27, 7.7. You know what, Eddie? Welcome aboard, my friend. Actually, hmm. Could go with Ramiro as well, just for the amount of HP. In case my junkies go crazy. The problem is that junkies can now go crazy uh, based on the effect of the drug. Like, some drugs will make them violent, so they'll start fighting everybody. So, that's a bit troublesome. But, you know what? I think Eddie might do. So, we'll pick up Eddie over here. And let's also go ahead and upgrade the couch so that we get uh, rested faster. We spend less time resting and doing all that stuff here. So, in terms of money, we're at a thousand right now. We have three people, which is all we can hire. Let's go ahead and build ourselves the other room and have Eddie start selling as well. We'll go ahead and just do the other one with this one here because we can only carry up to six um, junkies at a time anyway. So this will be three and three. You over here. There you go. So we should be good to go here for a while. Now, we haven't seen these guys make any moves yet. We have to definitely keep our eyes on them. Again, that prison would be really, really good. As a matter of fact, that would be like a free four dudes right now, right off the bat. The only problem is I don't think we could take on that cop. Not without ourselves losing some individuals here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll consider what we do here. Right now we have this. I definitely want to get a Fort Chemist to start working on the Atom Stand over here. Because as you can see, the weed... Uh-oh! This pusher is about to get, you know, basically his S pushed in by <laughs> Red Gang over here. So let's find out how they do. Let's find out how they do. It's only one guy. They might... Might... They, they're going to pull it off. I think. Ooh, okay. Let me pause this momentarily. Although, let me be honest with you. This area actually holds seven junkies. So if we set up, like, maybe... If we acquire something with a vehicle, we might be able to put, move some drugs over here and sell over here too, huh? Well, either way, we'll, we'll think about that later. But right now, what we're going to do is take over this place for now. There's a few drugs in here for one. And number two, this guy is basically dead. dead. He only has one more hit to take. So... We could send anybody in there to actually finish it off for us. Let's um have, since we have some drugs over here, let me send my chemist over here to take care of it. All you have to do is actually, yeah, yeah, he's fine. All you have to do is come in here and just punch him once, my friend. So, we'll send Victor over here to attack and get this going. So this will be kind of like your way, this is my strat to get you some success in this game down the line. Obviously, you don't want to send your chemist to do most of the fighting over here, but since there's only one more attack, we should be fine. We'll probably get punched in the face though, yeah. But there it is. Now, this area is ours. So we're cool on that one. And you can see we have some drugs over here too. I'm not sure what we want to do here, but remember, as long as we don't put anybody to sell drugs, their junkies won't go crazy over here. So for now, we can leave this place alone. Now mind you, if you leave it alone, and the rival gang comes over here to take over, and there's nobody here, they instantly take control. So, that makes sense, alright? But um, for now, all we wanted to do was guarantee ourselves that they didn't come over here and take over this place right now. So, we are going to go ahead and bring our dude back over here. Took a good old punch to the face as well. But you come on back. You're fine. Good job, my man. Good job. Need to cut as you come over here and cook some drugs. We're running a bit low, my friend. All you guys over here are just high out of your mind, huh? Look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that giant grin on him. Oh, it's so good. Alright, I missed this game. Missed it quite a little bit. Alrighty. So right now we're at the 1485. Again, we're not really making too much money. The, the weed doesn't really bring in too much money here, let's be honest. So, ways that we can start counteracting that right now is... I almost want to start pushing some product over here. Get a body over here to sell some for now. I mean, check this out. We do have... The only problem, you guys are a bit stronger. Huh? 25 and 6. I mean, all we need to do is just find a small little garage... Like, here we have parking with storage. We have this. I mean, if we take over this area, we'd acquire that dude. 
Who are you? You're 25 and 6. You're not too bad. You are manageable. You are definitely manageable. Alrighty, my friend. I need the services of that bike, man. So here is the problem. 25 and 6. What about you? 27 and 7.7. .7. Our sellers could do it. The only problem is whenever you invade an area, they always get the first strike in on you. So we'd be dropping down to like a 21. We'd have to make sure we could take them down in four hits. No, no, no. We'd end up losing somebody. Okay. I am going to take over this area, but we're going to do it a different way. Come back into it. Go back to doing your thing here. I am going to make sure we get another higher first. And we'll probably get like a tough fighter. We want to have somebody training already anyway, so we might as well come over here and... Well, let's just start hollowing this out. I need to set up another locker room area. And might as well hollow this one out too. I was going to put another locker there, but then I saw the battery and I'm like, Alright, you know what? I'm going to do battery, battery, and then locker. Just because I don't want to have locker, battery, locker, battery. And my OCD kicks in sometimes, what can I say? So over here we'll have a... Actually, we don't need the battery just yet, so just give me the... The locker here. Boom. Actually. Can I just build a locker here? I mean, we have room. Uh, yeah, I could, but we might put up a garage there. So, you know what? Let's just make the the locker right here. Boom, boom, boom. Alrighty. Now, with this done, we're going to have at least five individuals, right? We have $1,285 to our name right now. Let's go ahead and hire a goon. Somebody's going to work out pretty good for me. You aren't too bad, Romero. I wish your damage was a bit higher. You could get a lot of HP, though. I really want, like, the red shirts, still. Those are the fighting guys. The thing is, I don't really have enough money to kind of gamble right now. So, you know what? I'm going to have to take up Romero. They didn't want to, but we can't really risk um, gambling with the 50 for the randoms here. All right, Ramiro, I'm going to have you up. They're making a push for this dealer here. There's two of them over here. Oh, that's... Uh, you know what? This is actually good. If these dudes come over here and don't succeed, we could come over here and just take over what's left over and get our battery... Or not our battery, but get our, our bike. And then we can start moving product over here. Oh, my God. This might work out. So, again, it's all about now strategically making moves after your enemies make theirs. Now, if they win right now, then, you know, we're kind of a bit boned. They're sending how many guys? One guy. You know what? We might be able to pull this off. Okay. Go downstairs. Okay. Oh, that guy's a bit stronger, isn't he? Yeah, I don't think... Um, we can still bring him down, though. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. You know what? They took over. There's only one guy here. What we need to do now is hurry up, though, because they will send big goons here pretty soon. Eleven? Okay. Ramiro, forget about the training I was going to give you. I need you to come over here right now. And finish this guy off. Do it before the um, big goons show up as well. Get over there. Oh, wow. This... Oh, no! No! Oh, we're so boned. We're going to lose this guy that we just hired. God damn it. I was going to say, this area would be amazing too. They could actually hold up to 12 junkies, so we could make a lot of money over here. So you know what? I think we just threw away Ramiro. He's going to probably die. Yep. Oh my god. He didn't even bring one guy down. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. We have to make a push for this area again. Like, this is going to be prime for us. And they're, you know, they're at least pretty low HP. Oh, son of a biscuit. All right, let's make another higher here. Ugh. Seven seconds for... All right, maybe we'll get a, a big tough dude. Let's see if that's the case or not. I mean, not them. Maybe we'll get a big tough dude to hire over here. Higher. One second. Come on, dog. There's your second. Give me, give me a third dude. Ah, oh, it's another chemist. Okay, I'm going to go with Luke. I'm going to go with Tough Hand Luke. Or Cool Hand Luke. Alright, Luke. Oh, he's not here yet. Luke! Luke! There he is. Alright, Luke. You, you might be dying for me, but that's okay. We're spending a lot of money on these guys, by the way, so he has to succeed. If he doesn't, we're going to send a seller to finish it off, but I think he might be good. He's going to get, like, two st strikes in from this guy. Yeah, he's going to die at the next dude. As a matter of fact, we don't even touch this guy. I think they're going to bring me down before that even actually happens. What I hate is he can't control them once they're in the room, so I can't make him come up here and chill while I send somebody else to back him up. Yeah. Fudge! This is what I meant about the game could either go good or terrible, depending on how you play it out here. Okay, Eddie. Ah. <sighs> 
It'll be worth it, believe me. If we take over this area, we'll have the bike to move products, so it'll definitely be worth it. It's just a bit hassling sometimes to do it. If we had gone after the prison, we'd have some extra bodies to throw around, which is the reason why I like the prison a lot. Well, I mean, I don't like the prison myself. I wouldn't dream of ever being in prison, but you know what I mean. Like, I like the prison idea there. Don't... Oh, my God. Oh, dude, that was just too close for comfort. We need to set up the... Um, a room here to, you know, give you guys your HP back. So let's go ahead and hollow this out. We'll set up the room over here, and you need to come back. I'll heal you up pretty soon, but come back and start selling here before my junk is going crazy. Going crazy! Let's go ahead and set up this here. We need this for a fact. All right. Come on back, my friend. We good. You know what? We have enough rugs. Oh, no, no. Let's heal the, the seller first. We need to heal the seller first because if the junkies go crazy, they'll strike them once and then they'll um, kill them. So, no, no. You come down here. Forget about selling for now, my friend. Get your HP back. It's more important. Your health is more important to me. All right. Now we have our... Our little dude over here, our bike man, moving product from a few areas to the other ones. Now, he will do this because um, you can't... Remember how in the past you could actually control what, what's going to be moved what? Where? What where? <laughs> Whatever. But you can't do that now, apparently. It's been bounced out now so that your movers will actually distribute drugs evenly among all of your places, which is something I'm not too crazy about. There's ways you could kind of get around it. Like, for instance, what I could do is just demolish this here. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that because that they could sell up to 12 drugs or they could hold up to 12 junkies here. So I want to actually move there pretty soon. You know what? I'm going to allow him to try to move all this product out of here, if anything. Yeah. So move all the product from here to the other one and then we'll come over here and demolish this garage instead. Or not the garage, but this shelf instead. So yeah, move all the product over there for now. That's fine. Did um homeboy get his um HP in check? Yeah, he did. He's fine. And what about the other guy? You're fine. All right, good. So come over here and get yourself recovered as well. We are up to 825. We did see another chemist, right? So we might go and start doing our atom stand here pretty soon. I'll be honest with you. We lost a few people here, which is you know put a kind of put a damper us in terms of money, but we're doing pretty good considering we already have two um locations to our name, and I think we'll be fine as long as we we don't send any of these junkies crazy here. The junkies are really dangerous now whenever they lose their shit. So that's something you gotta definitely keep in mind. Alrighty, so you're not gonna move all the rest of the stuff over here, huh? That's unfortunate. Well, for now, just chill there. That's okay. That's quite alright. Here is what we can do. We could either um, hire ourselves another chemist, or we could uh, hire ourselves another seller and put them to sell either here or here. It doesn't really matter where. I almost want to just have them sell over here. It seems like a much safer spot. And it'll get some more income coming in. This could hold up to how many customers? Four? And this could hold up to three customers. Okay. And the rivals are making a push towards the courier office. You know what? I don't really care about this place. You'll get a car, but... If you want to take it, go ahead and take it. I mean, it'll suck for us down the line. But for now, it's not really one of my big concerns. So... Instead, let's come over here and hire. We could hire up to four more individuals, actually. Oh, you know why? Because this area that we took over had a locker room, so that actually expanded our slots of individuals. Great. Let's actually hire ourselves two people. I'm going to get myself another chemist, and we'll get ourselves another seller. And the, the selling that we'll do, the extra selling, will kind of offset the extra money that we're spending here. So, you know what? We'll send Mosh. And in terms of these guys, we'll go with Christopher. Okay. So for now, we will move Christopher over here to start selling. And again, what's cool is that there's already drugs over here, so he just instantly start selling those and not a big deal. And then you, my friend, enemy attacks carry off to see how they did. Oh, they got it. They definitely got it. Alrighty, that's fine. We will worry about that down the line, not right now. Uh-oh, this guy here? Whenever they they got this little bubble, he's gonna die. He's got poison. I'm not sure how you get poison from uh, marijuana. That must have been some really bad um, hashes right there. But what sucks about that is that we have now lost one of our junkies here. So what we'd have to do is actually get the upgrade to get more um, junkies here. And more importantly, since people died here, we're going to get raided. Now, the worry that I have here is that we don't have a lot of money. So if this guy asks for a big bribe, we're kind of boned. 
Like, we're kind of really boned. In fact, we're so boned that I feel like we'll probably use our chemist to sell drugs here a little bit because we're at a thousand. I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it, guys. Mosh, forget about, um, forget about Dre. No, but forget about, um, being, uh, making more extra drugs for us. For now, let's just have you come over here and sell a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it, guys. Oh, this cop's going to go crazy on us. Do we have enough money? Please don't. Please don't charge you. Oh, good God. Thank God it was 950. We have 1230. We had just enough. Yeah. Bribe. Hooey. All righty. I think this is a perfect opportunity to wrap it up here for today. Hopefully, enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us. Mean a lot. Um, How long are we going with the series? Very good question. For now, I see myself doing a couple of episodes. Maybe keep it on the shorter side because um, February is going to be kind of busy for me. I see a lot of games coming out that I really want to cover, and March is going to be even busier. So, we'll go a couple of handful of episodes here. Of course, if you guys let me know in the comments by leaving a like and a comment, that you want to see more beyond what I have planned here, I will continue to keep it around longer. But, it's all based on your support. Usually, I read your comments, see your likes, and see what is kind of like, you know, warranted to stick around the channel. And what basically should just get moved away for something else that might be interesting for you guys as well. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, and by leaving a like if you want to see more beyond just a couple of episodes I have planned here today. And um, based on that, we'll see how long this sticks around this time around. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.